number 77. Write the Lewis structures of the reactants and product of each of the following equations and identify the Lewis acid and the Lewis base in each. Okay, so writing the Lewis structure should not be um, something new here. We've had a whole chapter designated to how to draw Lewis structures. So if you need more, you know, need more of an in-depth um, idea as to how to draw them, go back to that chapter. I think it's chapter seven in the textbook, but we got it all on, you know, all for you on the playlist. The only thing is, is that I just wrote down here the number of balanced electrons that tin and iodine need. So the only thing that's new here is just saying which one is the Lewis acid and which one is the Lewis base. So let's go for it. I minus, right? So we have just one iodine and that one has seven balanced electrons. So I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, this negative means that you gained one electron. And looks like this electron looks a little lonely, so I'm just gonna add the one here, and now it has eight. So it has like the octet rule. And since this is the only element, this has to have the negative charge. Okay, so now plus we have SNI2. Least electronegative in the middle, so that would be the tin, right, SN. So SN, surrounded by the two iodines. So maybe I'll say one right here and one right here. Maybe I'll just move this a little bit over. Okay, so tin has four valence electrons. So one, two, we'll say, I guess, three, four. Three, four, right? Actually, we'll do something like this. And then each iodine has seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's combine them. So seems like one for one, one for one. So it seems like the iodines are good, which means that I can't really bind, you know, the tin anymore. So that's good to go. Okay, so now I have these two. So I'm just going to move these over here. And now we're going to make the product, which is a tin now surrounded by the three iodines. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this because here's the tin with the two of them already bound. And it seems like I just need to add the iodine. And that's the one iodine from here. So I'm just going to add the I. Maybe I'll put it on the, I guess I'll put it on the top here. And remember, the iodine has seven balanced electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this negative charge also means that this compound completely gains one electron. So I'm just going to add that to the iodine. You generally just add it to the more electronegative element. I'm going to put it down here. And now, do you notice that I have two of the same thing? things, but now they just have to come together and form a single compound. Well, this is how it's done. Lewis bases and Lewis acids. The tin down here says, I don't have any lone pairs to come and bind with you. But the iodine says that's okay because I have two electrons, right? The two electrons from the iodine are going to turn into a bond. So Two electrons from the iodine are going to be turned into a bond, and that's how they form that third, um, you know, the third bond between the tin and the iodine. And what happens is that atom that donates the electron pair, the two dots, to the atom. So in this case, basically, if we wanted to do it, it came down from the bottom. The atom that donated to the tin. That's the Lewis base. So the iodine has to be the Lewis base. So maybe I'll just say Lewis base. And that means that this is the Lewis acid. Just know that the Lewis base and the Lewis acid, they are both going to be on the reactant side. And just, just, just generally know that if you do see a negative, that's probably going to be the base, the Lewis base. If we did want to find out who had the actual charge on this compound, we would do the formal charges, and it turns out that the tin now has a negative charge. But that's basically it.
I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you all later. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.